Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and this is day five of Cirque de Sonne. Um, this started off as an angel look that ended up as a inner demons, devil, and angel slash put together, whatever it is, you know? Moving right into the tutorial, we are going to start off with a fresh face. You guys, I have a pimple. Like, ugh, I'm so mad about it. I'm going to pop on these contacts. These are from Pinky Paradise. And then I'm going to block down my brows a little bit just to take out the color. And then I'm going to go in with some water activated paint. Um, it's just water in that bottle. A very dense brush and I'm just going to start applying that all over my face. After I'm done with the water activated and it nice and dry, it is going to look a little patchy. So I decided to go in with the cream base and this one is also in white from Mayron. And we're just going to stipple that onto the face just to fill in any of the empty spaces. I'm going to set all my face as always because we are using creams. We're going to use this palette here from Revolution Makeup and it's one of their Halloween palettes. I'm going to take that maroon shade and start to contour my entire face like my cheekbones, my nose, underneath my chin and as well as my chest. Then we're going to go into my favorite highlight palette which is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighter Palette. I'm going to take that very light color and start to put that all over my face just to make my skin look a little bit more angelic. I'm going to go back into the Makeup Revolution palette, taking that dark brown and just placing it on my lid and blowing it out on the bottom lash line as well. And then we are going to take a glitter topper. This one is from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to place that on my lid. Going into one of my favorite products, which is Dermaflage. This is basically just gelatin in a syringe and it's so convenient. It's amazing. I love it. So I just create a lot of texture with these syringes right here. I'm creating some tears and it basically dries instantly and you can do whatever you want with it. So I just took a tan colored one and I made some little tears and then I filled in my lips with a cream color from Makeup Forever. I then popped on my wig and some wings. I like it, but I don't love it. So I decided to go in for another try. And now we're going to create the devil side. I am just going to paint on top of what I've already done instead of wiping it all off. I'm just going to take some really bright red water activated paint and a dance brush and just start to pat that on the entire half of my face. Once that is done, I'm going to go in and take some black from the same palette and I'm just going to start carving out my eyes. I'm going to contour with the black just to give it a little bit depth. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the angel side just with a different tone for some more dimension. So again, just contouring with the shade black. And then instead of using the same white highlight, I'm going to actually go into the pink tone just to highlight all of the devil quote unquote side. Then I'm going to take some water activated paint and this one is in black and I'm just going to go back into those tears that I created earlier. So instead of them blending into all of my makeup, I created them black. We are going to do a very fierce eyebrow here. You could do this eyebrow however you'd like. And then I'm just going to fill in my lips and I'm going to be using a black liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution as well. And then I'm going to take some more black paint and I'm just going to shade in the rim of my face here. Because I felt like the angel side was a little flat, I did go in with some glitter gel from ColourPop. And I just started to highlight with that just to make it a little bit more iridescent on the angel side. Alright, and that pretty much concludes my half angel, half demon look. I did take another black wig and pinned it to the center line here. Just so I can have some really harsh contrast between the white and the black. I ended up really, really loving this. It's actually turned out to be one of my favorite looks, so I hope you guys like it too. I am probably going to take a day off tomorrow, so you probably won't see a day six, but I will try to post on Instagram and TikTok anyway. My next look is so exciting, and I cannot wait to show you guys. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorials recently and for showing me so much love on all of my looks. I hope to see you in the next one. I love you. Ciao.